How's it going, everybody? This is a little different video. This is uh, day one after uh, Hurricane Sandy. Still a little overcast and stuff. Sorry for the glare on the window. Got a light on the camera since we are without power. But figured uh, take this opportunity, and since I can't really do much without power or lights. Just kind of show the workspace workstation I have and where things get done. Uh, just a couple of things I'm working on here at the moment. This is the uh, beginnings of a scout squad. Camera patterns on the legs there. Starting to not real too happy with it. Starting to do a little kind of digital camo on the capes. But uh, see how that turns out. So that's in process. I've also got Lehman Russ primed up and ready. Bits and pieces laying around. Uh, let's see what else. This is some of my storage here for different things: paints and metal pieces, plastic pieces, things of that nature. Some of my other paints. Need to make a couple more holders as my paints are starting to grow. The compressor for my airbrush. What else we got? This is some of the when I do my recordings. It's just a microphone. I'm not using it now since I don't have power. So hopefully the audio on this is picking up okay. goggles and respirator for when I'm doing painting which I uh, definitely recommend everybody use. Let's see there's a couple other things I'm working on. There's a old Dreamforge kit spider bot trying a couple of different techniques on. Haven't quite gotten it to where I like it but uh Coming along, you'll probably see that in the video in the near future. What else do we got here? Uh, some more storage. Some bits, my bits and boxes. Back here. All those. And yeah, just different stuff laying around. The new Warhammer starter set, which I have not started yet. What else? Uh, I can show you the completed stuff I have. This is all my Crimson Fists. I haven't done a count yet on how many points that is. Still have to do it. Here's some more stuff. Some more Crimson Fists. The shelf's filled up, so I've had to start moving them, some of them up here. And my Imperial Guard stuff. Let's see, this is stuff, just kind of miscellaneous, different things I've painted and done, or are in process of doing. Some of that you've seen on the my other video, some you haven't yet. And again, that's just some stuff in progress, some of the walls and the landing pad I'm working on. Uh, let's see. Miscellaneous parts. Got some more machine stuff. Some those there aren't iPads in there. <laughs> those are actually holding a bunch of uh, castings. I have those different blocks for terrain making. Got the turntable. I do my minis when I put them on the turntable. It's got a slingish terrain. This is some boxes of stuff I've yet to work on. It's 
stuff to get to. Lots of crap. And the bottom shelf is just my older chaos stuff from I don't know, ten years ago. Still have to do that. Some Imperial Armor books. These are great resources, by the way. Definitely recommend pick those up. Let's see what else is of interest. This kit here, this is one I forget the name of. The, I'll throw it down below. I think, but there was a site that had like from China where you can get a. Uh, Forge World things. I'm not sure the story behind it or how or why they were able to sell any of the Warhammer stuff like they sell on Forge World. But I picked up one of the uh, of his tanks with the uh, rockets on it. And I'll have to say this you know, at first I thought, hey, it's a good deal, it's half off, but the quality is just awful. Um, Compared to the Forge World stuff, the uh, quality on this kit was subpar. I mean, pieces are warped. At first, it looked pretty good because there wasn't any bubbles or warping. And not, war not warping, no, there was warping, there wasn't a lot of bubbles. So I thought it worked out good, but then uh, when I started trying to put things together, it just the walls are very thin. It's a totally different material that uh, the Forge World uses. So, even though it's half the price, it's definitely not worth it. What I'm probably going to end up using this for is uh, a terrain project I have that uh, probably end up using as a wreck in the terrain. There just isn't enough green stuff or super glue to fix the issues on that one. So, yeah, if I remember the name of the site, I'll put it down below. It's one of the same site where you can get like a Warhound, what is it, a Warhound Chaos Titan for like 220 US dollars, which is a great deal. But I'm glad I didn't go that route because of the quality of that's so anything like that one was. It's not worth it. Um, so yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for everything. Like I said, this is kind of an impromptu video. We've been without power for about 24 hours and I can't paint or anything because it's getting dark, so figured to pass the time I just show off some of my stuff you know ramble so uh, probably will end up doing at some point since the power's supposed to be off for several days I would clean up the shelves here and actually get a final count on what the uh, points are for my army since I've never bothered to do that but yeah this is kind of the place where it all happens don't work as much as I'd like to on this stuff, but uh, it's got enough to keep me busy for a long time, even if I don't buy any more. But I think the beyond here, what I've, what I've shown you here with the scouts, the uh, Ling and Ross, and some of these other miscellaneous parts, I think once I get done with those, I'm going to start doing a large terrain piece uh, that I've been thinking about for a while. But I'll have to wait and see. And hopefully we will get power back. But uh, like I said, the worst, some of the worst uh, forecasts have been 7 to 10 days. And I'm hoping it's not that long. Because uh, I'm going to run out of things to do. <laughs> and it's getting kind of cold. It's probably mid-40s, like 43 degrees Fahrenheit during the day. You know, it drops a few degrees at night. So it's kind of cold. We got a uh, gas heat though, so able to keep you know camp out by the fireplace and keep warm with the kids. The my other half, my wife was actually fortunate enough; she was actually out visiting her some family in Arizona. So while we're here without power and 40 degree weather, she's sitting by a pool in Arizona where it's 85 degrees. So <laughs> it worked out good for her. 
So to me and the two kids, which is the other reason I'm doing this is otherwise I would go stir crazy and have to deal with having to deal with two young kids. And hats off to the women who do it because uh, I am comfortable admitting that I could not do it full time. But yeah, that's it. So kind of a ramble. And uh, if you made it this far, <laughs> thanks for watching. Uh, but that's about it. Hopefully there'll be some updates soon once I get some power back and uh, can start working on things again. Maybe do a little bit by daylight, but uh, still pretty overcast after the storm, so it's still really hard to do anything. But once we get in a position where uh, I can, then uh, you'll see some more videos. Actually, it's just... Uh, this is one of the cameras I use for my videos. It's actually on an old, if you ever seen those old swing arm lamps that they have the magnifiers on the end of. I took off the magnifier and the light and uh, just attached my camera there and it's got some you know, good, kind of like a boom arm where you can kind of adjust it and however you need to. So it works out pretty well. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, it's just some reference material and color guides and magnets and all that sort of stuff. But uh, anyway, that's it. I'll stop rambling. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.